So we entered the space to learn what is going on today in Tremaine and how it is impacting Black businesses. That was our ethnographic goal. When me and my peers entered the space of Addiction Coffee on Claiborne, we expected to look around and try to find a story where we were and in the community. Well, that did not happen. Again, like y'all are just not listening and like disrespecting the space and that's the only reason I'm Instead, there was tension between us and the director of the film. The passion we both shared for the film led to total chaos resulting in a miscommunication. Hello, my name is Courtney Williams. Hi, my name is Piper Thurman. Hi, my name is Kimani Hamilton. Hi, my name is Hallie Wesley. My name is Caleb Crump. Hey everybody, it is Sherelle Turner. Hey, I'm Jordan. Born and raised in New Orleans, Louisiana. I am from Houston, Texas. And I am from New Orleans, Louisiana. And I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana. And I'm from Gulfport, Mississippi. And I am from Los Angeles, California. And I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. When I first started this class, um, I wanted to learn more about making a documentary and the process of making the documentary. One thing I wanted to learn more about when I began this research project is storytelling. When I first started this project, I wanted to learn more about the Claiborne area. One of the main things me and my peers wanted to focus on was the passageway above Claiborne. Supposedly, the passageway took away business from the Black-owned companies on Claiborne. And what I really wanted to know um, about just that area in general was how does the community affect the businesses um, in the area? The site was located right off North Claiborne Avenue in the 6th Ward in New Orleans. And the one thing I really wanted to understand about our space was more so the significance behind it and how I passed this coffee shop in this area so many times and never really noticed, never really paid attention to it. Um, yes, I'm familiar with the culture. Yes, I'm familiar with the area, but the space addiction coffee was somewhere that I've never seen before, even though I pass it up all the time. Now, being from New Orleans, I figured this would be super easy, but it definitely wasn't. The most challenging situation occurred, of course, when trying to find the story. How do we gather this information? How do we do this research? How do we put it all together? Getting everybody on the same page. At first, I didn't know much about ethnography and that made me very anxious. Learning that we would have to immerse ourselves in a different community, it sounded better when it was being lectured by Dr. Tia in classes. Cause I feel like we didn't have anything really handed to us. And I think that's what's so unique about ethnographies you have to like go in and find the story yourself you know that's the point you kind of are evaluating the space and the people around the space and it's up to you to put the story together actually being present in the space talking to strangers and walking around a part of the city that we weren't familiar with was kind of challenging at first i mean i went in there expecting one thing and i definitely got a whole different something else out of it we overcame that by focusing on our strengths as a team. Staying focused on the work and not letting outside entities steal my energy. Listening to each other, um, writing things down, really trying to understand, and just coming up with a plan. In person, and we came together to really identify where we were going with um, this project. Um, we had to stop being so uptight about figuring out a story and actually go out and look for it. So when we started going around talking to people, we just kind of took our time, had a little bit of R&R, &R, came up with a plan and came up with an idea. I learned that ethnography and when producing a documentary, you don't have to tell the story, but let the story tell itself. I learned from ethnography and making this doc that a lot of people have different opinions and different ideas and that's okay. But at the end of the day, all those opinions have to work together. I feel like I learned that you won't always have the story. 
sometimes it's up to you to go in and figure out the story and really learn the space and the people so that you can make the story come together. One thing I learned was how to be more versatile with interviewing people. As I gained more experience with interviewing and talking to people, I realized that the best sound bites come from the questions and answers you haven't prepared for. One thing I learned about interviewing is no matter how comfortable you are with the person you are interviewing with your subject, there is a certain etiquette. I think uh, my biggest lesson that I learned from this um, experience and making a documentary and going into this unknown space was never judge a book by its cover. When I'm an established actor, I will look back on this experience and reflect on my ability to acclimate to my setting. I will use this skill to figure out the totality of the role I play in whatever production or setting I'm a part of to help drive the story. Um, so someday when I'm probably old or whatever, I don't know, five, probably five years from now even, like I'm gonna look back, to, look back at this experience and I'm just going to remember not only the laughs um, and you know, the bad and whatnot, but I'm definitely gonna remember the laughs that we all had. Like Someday when I'm an old man, I will look back on this experience and I will be grateful that I got to not only experience New Orleans in its prime, but I got to experience it at Addiction Coffee, Bourbon and Bailey's Barbecue, and on Claiborne Avenue producing this documentary. And then someday when I am a journalist or a uh, TV broadcaster, I will just look back on this experience uh, and really take my time with my coworkers um, and also I will build rapport with people because that can help you in the long run. Someday when I'm a journalist, I'm gonna look back on this experience and I'm actually gonna be grateful for all the wins and all the lessons that I've learned throughout this entire process. I feel like with me wanting to be an investigative journalist and a, 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 an amazing reporter, that's literally what it's all about. Um, it's up to us to go in and find the stories. and make sure they come across as best as we can, you know, as authentic as possible. So I think what I will bring along with me in my future endeavors is to definitely remember, be patient. Um, before you speak, learn about the area. And that's what I'll take with me.